everybody. This is Bimbo Barbarella, and this is Wednesday afternoon, April 8th at 3.30 p.m., or close to it. Um, and this is Eclipse Day. If I hear one more person, well, they won't say it now, but for the last couple of days, I heard some of the stupidest things about an eclipse. People say, oh, my God, what's going to happen? Is my cell phone not going to work? Is my computer going to be out? Oh, what's going to happen? Okay. <clears throat> Us here in Tampa had like 40% coverage, so they say, at 2.30. I went out at 2.30. I looked up at the sun. I didn't see nothing. My eyes didn't catch on fire. My head did not explode. And there was no spontaneous combustion, much to my dismay. So, I mean, I'm, I know in some places it is going to be a factor, but... It's not the end of the world. Uh, there's a lot more important things in the world to people worry about, except it getting dark for four minutes in the afternoon. I'm just saying. I'm no scientist, but man, eh, sometimes I pretend to be one or make or make stuff up that sounds like I am. But. <clears throat> Uh, amazing. So, um, really don't have a lot to say. Um, just, there's been some stuff going on, so you probably haven't seen too much of me lately. And I know that's a big problem in, in everybody's life, too. Oh, my God, where's Bimbo been? I haven't seen Bimbo. What's Bimbo? <laughs> um... I did get a new tattoo, like I promised I would show you. And it is this here. It is a band called The Envy Nation. And they're Irish techno band. And here's their CDs. This is their, sec uh, their third one. The first two are mo are almost impossible to get. And see if you can see the little emblem there. And they've been around for quite a while. And V and V stands for victory, not vengeance. And this is actually a signed copy that the um, lead singer, um, um, Ronan Harris, actually signed. So that's pretty cool. And I like all of their music. I This is the kind of music that I gravitate to a lot more now. Is like um, <clears throat> more like um, European techno rock. Hello, HD. How are you? I still alive? Oh, I hope that the chickens weren't affected by the total eclipse. I mean, I don't know. Do you live in a place where, you know, where you could even see anything? I just think the whole thing was silly. <laughs> it really was. And here's their last one called Electric Sun. And that's V&V Nation. You can tell that the tattoo is new because there's still, you know, some of the 
redness that hasn't healed yet. <clears throat> and um, let me see. Um, <clears throat> if you've ever seen any of my videos, well, not my videos, but me performing music in my little cramped place where I play my guitars. <clears throat> um, what I'm doing is I'm going through that and turning that into an actual like studio type thing. And there was a lot of old boxes and stuff and just boxes of junk. There was one box I found. It had bills from 2005. Why is Cat Daddy keeping bills for 2005? Hello, Mr. Kropka. How are you? Here's my tattoo band called VNV Nation. It's hard to get a good look at it there. And I was showing people other oh, discs. Sure, of course. Oh, you live out of the country. Oh, you poor thing. You missed. And here he is, the, the purveyor of pirate radio, Mr. Mr. Mark Kropka, the pride and joy of Winnipeg, Canada. And how are you, sir? Oh, Hi, hello, Blue Man. How are great. you? Great. Great. Yeah. We just, yeah. just got in from seeing the most incredible, incredible eclipse show. Yeah. We had, to, I didn't know, but we had totality. We were right in the path of it here. So yeah, we had to, yeah. to, totality, and uh, it was clear. All the clouds, it was cloudy in the morning. And we thought, what a drag. And then by noon, it was clear, and time for the show. It was clear skies, and then the show came on. And by the time that the moon got in the center, and it was totality, you could take your glasses off and look at yeah. the at the burning corona around yeah. the moon. It was just spectacular. I mean, that is cool. It is cool. But And so like I was saying, you know, there's people here in Tampa. We had like 40%, but I couldn't see anything. You know, you couldn't see. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, Blue Mountain. Oh, Blue, yes, it does get dark. Oh, it got pitch dark, very dark. Yeah. Pitch back in the house. Oh hello, Miss. Oh hello, Miss Leah. How are you, dear? Hey, Leah. Yeah. yeah, and they are cool. But like I was saying before, here people in Tampa were saying, "Oh my God, what's going to happen? Is my phone going to work? Is the internet going to work?" I know. But it's the end of the world. It's the end of the world. Oh, do you remember when like Y two K came? Yeah. And people thought the end of the world was going to happen then. Yeah, I know. Everything was going to shut down. You know, because they because people read so much stupidity on social media. Yeah. And the, people are generally dumb to begin with. They believe what they read and then these rumors start and they get rapidly get it turns exactly. snowball into uh yeah, yeah exactly. until they're just incredible. Okay. Oh, hello Leah. Um Yeah, where you live, you probably got you know, like, you know, like what we got. Um, I mean, I couldn't tell the difference. 
They said that we have like 40%. And those are cool glasses. I would keep them and wear them on your show. Oh, hello there, Miss Ray. Um, Can't see a thing with them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Leave them on. Oh, they're cool. You can do your show with them one day. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Bopak, live, oh, he lives up probably not in the total, but yeah, where he lives. Yeah. 90% yeah, he today. lives up like northeast area. So. Yeah. I thought we were only going to be 90% until I looked on online this morning. Yeah, um, yeah, because it looks, it, it seems like two days ago they actually changed oh, the path a little bit. Oh, yeah, because it's, uh, yeah, we were right, right in the path of it. It was incredible. That's Absolutely cool. Absolutely incredible That's, yeah. show. It I mean, wasn't, it's my second one. I mean, because I've never seen a total one. I've been in one where it was like 80 and you could tell it got darker, not like the pitch dark, but that's yeah, cool. Yeah, it that's gets really cool. dim, yeah. 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 People in the, around the neighborhood were cheering. You could hear people laughing for, and cheering. For what? For, for what? Darkness know. in the afternoon for five minutes? No, it, it, when when the moon was right in the center and the corona was burning around it, it yeah. and you can take your special glasses off for a minute and yeah. look at it, and it's yeah. incredible looking. It's it's oh, like yeah. nothing else. Oh, so Bopak says I didn't have glasses, but I still. Okay, okay, hope okay. Hopefully, Bopak, you know your eyes didn't burn up. Burn or your you corneas out, know, buddy. Or else, maybe I hope that you didn't, you know, spontaneously combust. Because that would kind of suck. That would suck. <laughs> Nothing left but just some powder of Bopak. Powder, powder of Bopak. <laughs> oh, oh, that sounds like something that you, you know, use when you have, you know, like a foot problem. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Oh, you know, go get yourself some powder of uh, uh, Bopak. Boy, that'll yeah. clean that fungus right up. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Blue. It, it, and just like Mark said, you know, you know, people on the, on the Internet, they hear all this stupid stuff and they're too lazy or too dumb to research it themselves. Yeah. And he says... <laughs> Oh, that it's only as exciting as you want it to be. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's incredible. I don't know. When when it's in totality, it is incredible to look at. And I'm not easily thrilled either, eh? But it was something. And and so did Kathy th oh, see it? Yeah, yeah. We sat side and by side. She's going to bring her on. And let's get Kathy's Kathy, opinion. Let's get your opinion. She's coming. Come on, Miss Ghost. Hold on, she's uh, doing like Elvis before a show. Oh. Oh, right. <laughs> Do, she's, oh, she's got to break into the Elvis. Yeah. Personify herself. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um. Well, uh, you know it. It gives people something to talk about in April. And there she is. And there's, oh, the lovely ghost. And so, and so were you thrilled at the... Oh, my God. If I die tomorrow, I would have died very, very, very happy and content. Oh, my God. It was beautiful. That's amazing. You'll that's, never see that's... something like that in your lifetime, man. No. Especially and... in total darkness. Oh. And like I told Mark, um, um, several, several years ago, I saw it when it was like 80 to 90. And it wasn't that complete darkness, but it got like dim, you know. Yeah, it, it's pretty little... impressive, though. But this all oh, been, oh, my God. And so it were people was... really outside there cheering and clapping? Oh, and yeah. Kids? The kids, especially everybody had their kids outside. And the kids were just yicking and yying like, wow. Yeah. 
they were a little freaked out of how dark it got too. It's dark, and then you know, and, and then they were what? wow. And you know what? I hope that that is not the highlight of those kids' life, because yeah, if it is, they got no future. <laughs> <laughs> no, but bimbo, it's it's a universal beauty. Oh, yeah. it's the oh, only, yeah. we, I mean, we are the only one in the solar system that sees this beauty as it yeah. is. Oh, I yeah. mean, it's yeah. special, man. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's cool. It's cool. It very. Um, that's why I can understand um, solar eclipse chasers. Eh? People, they chase these things right and left because you fall in love with beauty that you see. Yeah. And, um, I don't know what to mean. Yeah, I wouldn't oh, yeah, it. because what happens a lot more is like the lunar eclipse, you know, the one. Yeah, yes, exactly. Yeah, so that yeah. happens more often. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay, so Squirrely says that she didn't care about it. She got free glasses, went back out. So, so I guess if Squirrely was amazed, that Squirrely went back inside, eh? <laughs> says, oh my God, I don't want to spontaneously combust. <laughs> Actually, a woman in the store we were in earlier, we a I asked her, I said, so you think you're going to be able to go outside? And she said, I don't want to go outside and combust. I thought, yeah, okay, you're <laughs> one of those. Yeah, it's just dumb. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it is really, really cool. And I will grant you that. But, you know. No, Bimbo, if you saw this, oh, my. Oh, it it would have yeah. been the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in your lifetime. And which well, it is I, for Canada, right? So, Well, I don't know. I look in the mirror. I look in the mirror a couple of times a day, and I see uh, <laughs> lots, oh, lots of beauty. Oh, not for me. Not Oh, not for me, because Misfit comes up behind me. Oh. And so Matt says that. And, and so here's what Matt says. We're south of New York in a cloudy old day, no sun, complete darkness. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, there you go, eh, Matt? Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Well, well, figure that if it's going to do Toronto and where you guys live, it's going right up there. So, and so, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's... Uh... It, the town, the city north of us, only has had partial, and we're just we just got into it, in on it, I guess. And it takes a big swipe out of Lake Erie too, and south of the border. I know uh, where moments from Michelle is in Rochester. Oh, yeah, Rochester, Buffalo, all up there. They had total too, but they had cloud cover, so they didn't really see much. I was just, well, I watched her live. She put on a live during it. And, oh, really? Uh, cool. Yeah. I tried to, but I wasn't getting a good signal, so I didn't bother. Yeah. yeah. And and um, I had, um, you know, Cat Daddy's appointments today, and, and I've been working on my, um, you know, like, uh, you know, my studio thing. And oh, yeah. like I was telling people, and you guys have seen me, you know, play guitar and perform in like that little room with all the crap all all in it. The well, six, I got six, rid six of, room? Yeah. Well, I got rid of all that crap. And I, and I found boxes of bills, Mark, from the year 2005. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know... Why why is he keeping boxes of bills that are twenty five years old? Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. No. So oh so anyway, so I got like six boxes. And what I'm gonna have to do to the garbage men so I don't overwhelm them is I'm gonna put the boxes out, you know, you know, pace them. <laughs> you oh know, yeah, like one them every, one every week. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, for sure. Hey, can I see your new tattoo? Yeah. Yeah, like I said, it's the band um, VNV Nation. Oh, okay. And I was showing oh, some other CDs. Oh, nice. 
And where's the one where you can really see the that of the emblem? See, there's the emblem. Okay. Let's see it on your arm, though. I didn't get a good look at it. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, nice. Okay. I like that. But striking. And, and like what the band is, is they're like Irish um, techno pop. Okay. Um, honestly, Mark, it's really not your kind of music. No, eh? I don't know. Oh, because every time I want to play something like that, you give it the... <laughs> or you pull it off. I give everything a chance. I try to. No, you don't. No, you don't. I played some stuff and you stopped it in the middle. <laughs> well, what can I say, Bimbo? We got a, we got a, <laughs> a choir case radio. on private radio. Well, well, I mean... I mean, and I'll try and be have, more open minded. Oh, well, I mean, you know, you get, I mean, and you always have like good crowds lately, which is good. Yeah. Yeah. We had a yeah. bit of a party last night. Uh, I saw, I, I was flipping around and I saw you had uh, the chosen one on again. Yeah. He came on and just showed up. I was going to play music all night and oh, okay. walk <laughs> out and then. Rob came on, don't like that. And then yeah. the chosen one showed up, so and then Michelle, so we started gabbing for Yeah, Rob. I know. I saw I saw I saw all those oh uh, clown bots on there. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, but, see, uh, and even Bopak. Okay, I think Bopak knows O V and V Nation. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Mark, and how would you like that? Bopak says that will put on Devo and the B-52s uh, on repeat for you. Uh, that would be See, look at that face. Oh, look at that face, Chris. You know. <laughs> what, you don't like Devo? We are D-E-V-O. Whip it. Whip it good. Dan, 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 dan. Rock Lobster. Yeah. What, did they do Rock Lobster? No, that was the B-52s. Oh, okay. Rock Lobster, down, the and down. The B-52s, oh, they also did going to the Love Shack. That's right, and yeah. My favorite. And, you know, they're actually from Athens, Georgia. And when I was up there oh, with Easy Street, um, um, there was this music store where, oh, where I went in. And they said um, that the guys from the B-52s, they're in his store all the time. Now, oh, yeah, how cool. cool is it to have a record store in a town like Athens that has so many bands, um, REM, B-52s, uh, the drive-by truckers, um, widespread panic. Yep, yep. I'm a fan of them. Yeah. Widespread panic. He's not the greatest singer, but he he seems to fit the, the mold well for all the songs they do. And well, uh, well, well, I mean, yeah, because I'm not the greatest singer either. I'm hardly the greatest singer. But me neither. I'm not at but, all. See, <clears throat> but one of the keys to singing is to use your voice as a instrument as well. Right. And a good singer can do that. Yeah. Sing from the stomach. Use your whole body. And uh, yeah, if you ever watch guys like Tom Jones, you ever oh, yeah. see how his neck swells right up when he hits those notes? <laughs> his whole head just bulges. His neck bulges out the size of his head almost. Just incredible to watch. God. Okay, here we go. What? Here we go. I is the world ready for it? Yep. Yeah. Oh, look who it is. Just in time. Bimbo's favorite friend. No. <laughs> no, no, Chris, you're my only friend. Only friend. <laughs> What's going on, Chris? 
You're oh, hey, Chris. Hey. Oh, okay, Chris. You are the only friend they oh that I have that I can't stand. Hey, there's, but there's no. Oh, you got that going for you. There's no static today, though. So. No. No, That's there okay. isn't. That's the thing. No, the there isn't because I fixed it. Because I oh. fixed it. Oh, what was the problem? It just needed a couple of oh the oh the tower just needed to get hit with a hammer a couple of times oh and then the tower said oh cut it out just stop hitting me with a hammer did, and did, so you, then did, you, did you open up the tower and just air it out no I just beat it on the top I oh, just beat okay. it on the top you know repeatedly oh okay cool <laughs> so what's going on in in the world of Chris Leclerc today okay here we go just saw the eclipse a few minutes ago. Yeah, we did too. Did you get totality where you were? No, no you didn't actually. You oh, got a partial. You had yeah, partial. Well, I know it's still there. Yeah, we had partial. Yeah. It is, but it's a lot lighter than it was. And the problem I, I, I have is with a sound card. And like in my other room that I'm turning into the studio, so oh. I can um, go on um, like do like live streams where I can play like two or three songs in a row. I'm getting a whole laptop and and I've been looking into it lately. I've been I was watching this. Yeah, but the hell is that? Apocalypse now. Oh, it looks like a it looks like somebody painted your portrait. No. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. So anyway, um, so, oh, something else I bought today. Oh, because I went to Target, and um, and one thing that I like about like going to Targets as opposed to going to like a Walmart, the guys in Target, the oh, computer guy, actually knew what he was talking about because I told him what I wanted, and he said. And he really wasn't sure. He said, but for what you want to do, do not get uh, a Windows um, OS. Go with, um, oh, go, with Google, oh, go with Google. Because, oh, okay. because the Windows has too much built-in crap, built-in thing. You have to you I know. Know, just fight through. I had something called, sorry. No, go on. No, go on. I I had something called Ubuntu. It's another operating system. And it didn't have all the clutter of Windows. It never, I never had a problem with it. It always, everything was always easy. It it did everything Windows did without all the, without all the uh, little glitches and the settings weren't like windows settings or not see and see now i find that windows is so um you know redundant in its things it's asking you sometimes four or five times do you want to do this function do you want to do this function you know just oh just to copy and paste a picture takes like six steps yeah Yeah. and paste I have an I Apple. Know. I have a late 2010 Apple computer, and, and 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 I use Google Chrome on it. I don't use Safari at all. Okay, yeah, that's probably what I because I'm gonna get a a laptop, and you know that laptops n- now no longer have like DVD drives. They don't. Yeah, they yeah they yeah exactly yeah because they're really streaming now. That's why. And so no and okay, but you can buy a DVD drive. Yeah, you know, you can buy it through like a couple bucks. Yeah. And they're, oh, they're not expensive. They're like 16 bucks. Oh, Mark, and you know the mic? What you need right here. This is what you're going to yes, need. Yes, yes, Chris, I know what it is. Okay. Um, um, Mark, and you know the kind of mics that like, that like um, Wes and, and, and Will D, you know, Floundering. Yeah. And, and Gary G. May. Have, yeah. Um, they're not expensive. They're like 200 bucks. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's and, and they Gary can go was for, telling me you can get a half decent one for a hundred bucks. That, yeah. That's usable. Um, yeah. 
I forget what it was called. It had a name, the type of mic it was. I, uh, I don't remember. Do you remember. use Google Chrome, Mark? Do you use Chrome, right, Mark? I use Google Chrome, yeah. Do you? And I use... I use Firefox too sometimes. Oh, okay. okay, and so Bopak oh does make a good point though. He says Windows is okay because it's compatible with almost everything. Because a lot true. of these other OSs aren't. Yeah, Windows carries a lot of the drivers you need too. It yeah. has a, yeah. has a lot. I'm using Windows right now on my desk on both my desktops. I mean because my tower here that I'm working from now. Um, is Windows 11. Yeah. But but the problem is me and, you know, Captain um, figured out that it's the sound card that's built into the motherboard. That's yeah. the problem. Yeah. Because, be Windows 11, a lot because of before you used to be able to, like, remove the sound board and put a new one in. Now you can't. A lot of people yeah. don't like Windows 11. From what I, people I've spoken to hate Windows Well, 11. like I said, Chris, they're too redundant. Yeah, exactly. You, know, you like Apple? You ever had an Apple? I, I don't like apples because with my teeth, oh, they're hard to chew. Oh. Okay. The only thing about Apple is it, it costs you money around every corner. Apple yeah, chew, um, Apple this, Apple that, yeah. and they want money. Yes, oh. Yes, Bopak, absolutely. Eleven is terrible. I actually wish that I that I had never switched over to eleven and stayed in ten. Me too. Back. Right did away, I back. felt that way. There's yeah. Oh, because he said that he didn't upgrade either. You and what back. about and 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 so anybody else in the chat? Um, um, what operating systems do you guys prefer? Can you go back to Windows Ten? Yeah, no, you, you can, can always go back. Oh, you can. Well, yeah, you can, but oh, but then I'd have to bring out the hammer again and beat on the, you know, and and a computer can take only so many hits with a hammer. Right. What was the name of the author that did Heart of Darkness again? Oh, I don't know. I got no idea. Um. Bopak, do you know? Bopak put it up because well, uh, um, Chris had brought up uh, Apocalypse Now, and Apocalypse Now, of course, is based a, a loose, or based of around the book Heart of Darkness. Yes. Ro Con Conrad, yeah, Robert Con. No, that was an actor. Something Conrad. Hmm. Did you like the movie? Yeah, I, I really enjoyed the movie. You know, like it's different than the book. The book is uh, African. No, it wasn't. It was uh, about the African uh, um, ivory trade, and they went deep into Africa. And and the uh, apocalypse now is about Vietnam War. Yeah. So okay, okay. Well, that was all just Stanley Kubrick, you know, changing it all. Yeah, yeah. Was a Vietnam In the writers. Platoon, What's that? Platoon was good, too. I, yeah. I don't like movies like that. <laughs> if there's not, if, if there's not a spaceship, um, a robot, um, a superhero, or somebody getting whacked on the head with a pipe, I usually don't watch it. Oh, Joseph Conrad. Okay. Yes, Rita. That's Thank it. you, Rita. Thank you, Thank Rita. Rita. Have you right. seen Knives Out? Even though Joe's... What? Have you seen Knives Out? It's backwards. I can't see it. Knives Out, it's called. Oh, what is that? It's a movie. Oh, it looks stupid. Is there a robot in it? No. Daniel Craig. Is there, a spaceship? Uh, Is there a spaceship in it? No. Is there somebody getting hit on the head with a pipe? No. Well, then I won't watch it. It doesn't fit any of the criteria. <laughs> right. 
Yes, I like oh yeah, and like Stanley Kub and like Stanley Kubrick was was very very. The Shining was good too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But uh, but Stephen King did not like it. Yeah. But you know what? Oh, the creepiest part of that movie, still to this day, scares me whenever I watch it, is those two creepy little girls in the hallway. Yeah, yeah. They, I, and I still dream. Oh, see, that's the kind of dreams I have, stuff like that. Why do you think that I'm so fucked up? Because, uh, oh, because those are my dreams. Uh, but I want to show you something pleasant that I got today. Something pleasant. No, yeah. really. No, really. No, this is pleasant. Pleasant. It's from it's it's from okay, you guys know what uh, what the Funko Pops are, right? Yeah. I don't collect and them, but I know they are. Take it out of a box because people say, "Oh, if you take it out of a box, how oh, you ruin it." Clockwork Orange. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um Alex and and the guys at the milk bar. Okay, this is a really good Disney movie that I loved as a kid, and I just saw it a couple of weeks ago, and I remember how good it is. Disney did a version of Robin Hood, and this uh -huh. is the full pop of Robin Hood. Oh, cool. Cool. And see, like all the and all the you know portrayers and and in um in the Disney one are animals. Have you seen Robin Hood, Russell Crowe? And, and then do you see Robin? Put Hood? it a little closer to the camera, Bimbo. Oh, okay, yeah, he's cute. Then mm -hmm. here's the box. Oh, okay. Nice and box. so Target, and so Target, they had all the, all of their oh, Funkos on sale for like seven bucks but most of them i didn't know oh hello brian how are oh how are you doing my friend you know you're always welcome up here i hear this some of the collector ones like m and m and shit like that can go into the hundreds yeah they're very I mean, collectible i mean because i have one of lemmy right very collectible did you like the yes movie? yes honor yes honor did you like the movie with kevin costner no, I hate. I can't stand Kevin Costner. The only good good movie Kevin Costner ever made was when he got the most shit about was Waterworld. I like Waterworld. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah. mind the Waterworld. I thought that was a good movie. Okay, Hunter, and here is my tattoo. Wrong arm. <laughs> Robin Hood. Did you see this? I wouldn't watch that. In a million years. Oh. oh, put it back. Oh, put it back. I'm feeling ill. No, wrong tattoo. No, That's no. It. There it is. And is V and V Nation. And here's music by the band. See, and if you see, you can see what the. I have to look at my Apple I, Apple Music. What, what, what brand you is that? You can see what the emblem looks like. Is that what you showed the tattoo artist? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that yeah. CD? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so what he does is like he is like he took a picture of it and made a stencil. Yeah. And then put it on my arm and pressed down and it like left a impression on my arm and this guy's really good he's done all of my stuff and he's really good he's really good and he's and and everybody in the shop all of the other artists are nice friendly people and they and the shop is nice and clean and you know it's just a wonderful place to go oh it is it is it is and then is and then is it's funny because oh the guy who i see is murph well oh yeah that's murph. oh that's his name what everybody calls him murph and his and his wife um julie 
whenever I come in, she says, well, oh, well, like yesterday, I was just wearing sh shirts and a short. She says, oh, what, you didn't come in wearing a crazy outfit? I, I said, no. Oh, hello, Headley. How are you? You know, you're always welcome here, my friend. Mark, hey, and say hello to our guests. I'm Headley, Honor. Hey, Headley. Hi, Honor. How you doing, man? Good to see you, fellas. Yeah, because this is just a short little um, Wednesday yeah, show. Yeah, what you on? In a while. Yeah, you haven't just been on Monday in the afternoon, never, like. Just because I haven't done done anything since I've been working on on doing that other room, which right. is coming along nice. It's coming along nice. It's gonna look nice. Nice. You got yourself a studio. Yeah, but but it doesn't make any difference if I have no talent. Well, a, a studio <laughs> can create talent where talent wasn't before. I know mine does. Wow. Words of wisdom from the pirate radio. Yeah, I should get that. Not, okay, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, you're not going to see that too often. So relish in that thought. Wait, I'm going to put it on my first big boat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I, I think. Bopak, wasn't he like a minor leaguer or something, um, Kevin Costner? Feel the Dreams. Yeah, Feel the Dreams was a good movie. No, anyway. I'm talking about... No, I'm talking about real life. Oh, I don't know. Hello, Honor. Oh, Honor, haven't talked to you in a while. Why? Oh, Honor, why don't you come up and, and join me in crop in chat? And Bopak, why don't you come up? You haven't been up in a while. Come on. One of you two, come up. And you'll get a prize chosen especially for you. Just depends on what kind of crap I got in my drawer. Hey, well, you can find out back in the, uh, in the, uh, by the retention pond. Or else I can give you a box of bills for, oh, from 2005. <laughs> oh, that, that's, yeah, who knows what kind of treasures are in there. <laughs> Nothing I looked. Oh, because I was looking for, I was looking for like old Christmas cards that might have had money or stuff in them. No. Text in it, yeah. Okay, whoever comes up wins this Fifth Avenue candy bar. Ooh, now we're talking, man. Ooh, yeah. Sometimes um, you feel like a nut. Okay, so Hunter's not. Oh, and Bopox at work, so. Okay. He's technically still on the clock. And Hunter's not presentable. I mean, well, Mark's on the screen all the time, and he's never presentable. I'm never presentable. I mean, why don't you. I mean, why do you think. That, I mean. Uh, oh, Hunter, why do you think that ghost never wants to be on with him? Oh, she doesn't want to be seen uh, with him. Right. I'm not presentable. I'm questionable. <laughs> questionably numb. Yeah, questionably. Or is yeah. comfortably numb. <laughs> Hang on. I might have to... Uh... Have to stop what? people from. Oh no, they're just getting in. People sometimes park along the base of my driveway, blocking my car in. Oh. This, and I have to go out there and yell at them sometimes. You can't park there. It's on across, you're right across my driveway for crying out loud. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just going to the fish and chips store really quickly to get some takeout. <laughs> so they park in front of your house. Yeah, right in front of my driveway, blocking off my driveway sometimes. <laughs> it's craziness, and there's no parking in front of my – it's a no parking zone. There's, why, there's guys why? out there constantly grading tickets. Oh, wow. I know. I've never – it's 
it's been a while since I lived in right close in a city like this. In the, it, it's busier. People do things like that. <laughs> but uh, I got to get, I got to figure it out. I think I'm going to get some pylons or something like that to make it more. Why don't you, and why don't you have ghosts, you know, just stand out there uh, with a baseball bat and, you know, threaten them with a bat. I was thinking of that. She could chase him off pretty good, but she, she gets uh, uh, she has a limited attention. She can't sit out there for too long and watch it without uh, doing something else. So I left a nasty note on one of their um, really in jail. A really nasty note. And when good he deal. Was tear, when he was tearing out of here. The screech was all the way down the street. He was pissed. Good. I was happy. Good job. Oh, good yeah. job, honey. Well, then your job is done. Oh, yeah. okay. You've earned your keep for more. another. You've earned your keep for another week. We need more attitude like that. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, so, um. <coughs> I don't know. Like I said, that's all I really wanted to do is just show off the tattoo. Know, Looks nice. And, and then talk about the stupid eclipse. Yeah. And then I got to show my and then I got to show my my little Robin Hood. And this is a really and this is a really good, funny, cute Disney movie. Which you don't hear me say the word cute too often. Cute. Yeah. Cute. You don't. Well, at least it wasn't moist. Well, you don't say warm and fuzzy too much either. Well, that's only when I haven't shaved my back in a month. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. That's only what happens under my arms when I haven't been when I haven't had attention there for a while. <laughs> uh so all right. Um Mr. Mark, so when are you going to do Pirate again? Um, you can never tell because it's one of those things that I don't pre-schedule it because I never know what mood I'm going to be in yeah, on, right. on a given evening. Because anytime you schedule something, the time will come and then you say to yourself, I don't really feel like doing this right now. As yeah, opposed well, to... Just, yeah, well, then just go on and come up with a lie saying, you know, that... oh. Oh, you know, that you can't come on because you have to clean up the mess, you know, that grandpa left, you know, that he left a mess on top of the stove and you got to clean it up. Yeah, yeah. And what grandpa's doing on, on the stove. Oh, and okay. And here's what Honor said. Oh, okay, now this is funny. Yeah. And, oh, you know, oh, you know, you have a sign that says, you know, don't block the driveway. And they're blocking the sign. That's right, yeah. <laughs> Every time. Uh, Not I a bad idea, did, though, Honor. I actually know somebody. Uh, um, um, it was in the neighborhood uh, where uh, where my friend um, where my friend um, Suzanne lives. Um, <clears throat> um, they used to park in front of their house all the time as well. And so the guy actually went out and got cones and put them in front of his thing. And, yeah. And so whenever he, you know, was coming home, he just went out and moved the cone, drove in, put the cone back. <laughs> yeah, that's not a bad idea, but someone will probably steal the cones. I'm going to get... <laughs> I saw these things you can drive into the ground. They're kind of like whip, not whippets, but they're kind of uh, like um, rods, sort of. Um, oh, okay, yeah. Just sort of posts, orange, right. and they're bright orange. And uh, you just drive them into the ground and they sit there, but they look like shit, kind of. I don't know. My friend wanted no, to no, give no. me two planters. He's got he had these two giant driveway planters. You put earth in and you plant, but I don't want to take care of uh, any flowers out there, and I can't. I don't want to just put the planters without planting shit in it. 
<laughs> it's a real dilemma. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. I wish I knew one of my Ukrainian friends that could come up and help you. You know, you know, because oh, because because there's a movie called The Italian Job. Yeah, um, I seen it. That was a good movie. Oh, oh, and my favorite line is, you know, oh, you don't fuck with this, and you don't fuck with fucking Ukrainians. Oh no, yeah. Don't. You no. don't. You, no, you just don't. No, you know, yeah. Polish people. You know, like Polish people. Oh, you can mess with all all the time because it takes oh six of them to put in oh to put in a light bulb. Look what Putin get when he fucked around with the Ukrainians. He's got a whole and he's still lot of uh, headaches. He's still getting it. He's still getting it. Yep. <coughs> Hopefully he'll get it right to the grave. And you know what? And I think I've told you this before, or I've mentioned it before on somebody's stream, maybe yours, I don't know. I would like to see um, Zelensky and Putin in like a wrestling match. Yeah. And what you do is you have a worldwide, you know, pay-per-view and whoever wins, their country wins the war. You know, because now, because really, because Russian and Ukrainian people, they oh, they don't hate each other. My father's no. Russian. My mother's Ukrainian. They don't hate each other. No. You no, know, no, not at all. And you know what? A lot of a lot of Russian people are outraged with what's happening with uh, what Russia's doing over in in the Ukraine. But they can't yeah. speak up about it because they'll end up in a political prison. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? And you know what? And you know what? The Russian soldiers are getting paid clothing. And potatoes. Potatoes, yeah. I was gonna no, say really. Okay, no, really, because Russia has no sort of, you know, rubles to pay them, so they're yeah. giving them clothing and potatoes. Wow. So I guess you can make your own vodka if you know how to do it with a potato. Yeah, that's doable. <laughs> that's very doable. And clothes. I mean, I mean, Russia has. As winter, what, oh, what, like 13 months out of the year? No shit, I know. Especially you go up north, like into Siberia uh, and places like oh that. Oh, my God. And you go up to, like, okay, like even, you know, Moscow. Um, oh, they have, yeah. like, oh, they have, like, six weeks of summer, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's well. It's, uh, well, and well, and you know, Polska's not known for its balmy temperatures either. So no, no, it's a, it's it's well, it's it's. I was when I visited there, it was summer and it was really pleasant. But again, it's not very long, and the winters are horrible, especially when you get up near the Baltic Sea. Oh yeah, yeah. Up there with Lithuania and Estonia and Latvia. Yeah. So, all right, guys. Well, we're coming on. Yeah. Okay. Headley has it right. A celebrity death match. Exactly. Oh my God. Does anybody remember when that was on MTV? The show Celebrity Death Match. Oh, they had like these. Um. Um. It was like the claymation. And they had, um, say, like Ozzy Osbourne fighting against Marilyn Manson in in like a ring. Cool. And so then Ozzy Osbourne, you know, like bit off Marilyn Manson's head. And so Marilyn Manson was still alive, fighting with no head and stuff. Oh, my God. That is so funny. I'm sure you can find that on YouTube. Look for it. It's called Celebrity Death Match. I remember they, are they had hysterical. I remember they had a real life celebrity boxing match between Danny Bonaducci and <laughs> I think it was Keith Partridge. Oh no, it was uh, Bobby from uh, 
Um, oh, the Brady Bunch. Brady Bunch, yeah. Really? Yeah, Bonnie Ducci beat the shit out of the guy because Bonnie <laughs> Ducci uh, is is, uh, is a boxer and a weightlifter. Yeah. And he just took the guy out. It was ridiculous. Oh, see, now that would be funny to watch. Yeah, that would be funny to watch. <laughs> Anybody else see I'm that? Gonna look, I'm gonna look that on stream too now because okay, because I don't feed the, because I've got to feed the cats for an hour. I wonder if that would be on YouTube or not. Oh, That'd we can only cool. look. I'll find out right now quickly. We but, can only uh, look. They had a few. But as you oh, very good call people. there, Edley. Very good call. Celebrity death match. Oh. And okay. because because yeah. I used to yeah. like and uh, like MTV Bob. when they had a lot of like their adult swim shows. Um, like Aqua Teen, Hunger Force, Space Ghost, um, Coast to Coast. Oh now they're just stupid. It, there's a few here. There's Bonaducci Bo Boxing Williams, which was Bo uh, Bobby from Brady Bunch. There's Bonaducci Boxing Donny Osmond, the fight. <laughs> Back in 94, they did it. Wow. I suggest everybody, because, okay, because I'm going to stop, because i got to go watch this. <laughs> yeah. And I, Mark, and... Oh, Danny used YouTube. Oh, it. Danny used to push the envelope. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And like, didn't he get in trouble when he was a uh, DJ? F oh, for like beating up a transvestite or something? Yeah, it was a transvestite prostitute, and he propositioned <laughs> her, and uh, and then I think he he went for a feel, and then found out, and then ended up. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah. <laughs> Lots of poor and women. okay, yeah, and then Danny found out that she had, you know, spare change. That's right. She was packing. <laughs> so uh, he slugged her, and he ended up getting in a lot of trouble for that. And yeah, it was he went to jail, didn't he, or something? Yeah. Like that. I don't know. Maybe not jail. But... Well, they threw him in for a bit, and and because uh, I think he was drunk, and uh, he. Uh, Got a lot of celebrity from it, a lot of backlash from it. And okay, and like, didn't the girl though beat him up? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Well, I, well, you know, well, I doubt Mark, it because he's a pretty Mark, tough cookie. He's a little guy. I, eh? He's like four or something. Know. Five, well, one. You know, you know, and that might be a topic that you can include on the next pirate radio. What's that? What topic? Uh, about about Danny Bonaducci getting into fights. Yeah. Okay. We'll do, we'll do a Danny Bonaducci um, celebrity appreciation night, and we'll <laughs> we'll highlight a few of his fights, and then we'll do a few songs. I woke up in love this morning. Went to sleep with you on my mind. And you mind. know what's funny? And you know what's funny? And and I'm sure you do it too, Mark, as a musician, is like I can watch somebody play bass guitar and I can tell that they are not coming close to even playing. Yeah, oh yeah, you can always tell. <laughs> you, you know, then what? What? Yeah. And you'll find that on YouTube a lot too. You know, some of these, you know, bands. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah, because I suck, but at least I know how to play. Yeah. Well, no, like these. Oh, 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 and Headley has an idea here, Mark. You can here you can do the Partridge Family yeah. Music Show. I was thinking, Headley. Yeah, we'll do all Partridge Family music all night. Because the yeah. only one in there with a lick of talent. Oh, was David Cassidy? Yeah, and uh, the 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 broad um, mother, the mother. Uh, Susan. Oh, oh, yeah, um, Shirley Jones. Shirley Jones. She was a good singer too. Yeah, yeah. 
And then they had that little kid, you know, you know, playing the drums, and the bass drum was bigger than the kid. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, and that will be exclusively, ladies and gentlemen, on Mark Kropka's Pirate Radio. Coming so stay soon tuned for that episode. Coming soon to a monitor near you. I'm actually gonna make a. I'm gonna actually gonna make a you know Twitter post about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll do it for you. It will be my. It will be my pleasure and honor to make a. No, oh, to make something up like that. Then I'll be obligated to really do it. Yeah. Exactly. You don't have to do it. You know, fuck. Oh no. <laughs> And okay, because you know that I can be pretty creative when it comes to stuff like that. Oh yeah, no, 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 no worries there. <laughs> oh yeah, the tambourine girl. Yeah. Oh my god. And she's like, hey, 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 hey. um, I mean, she could have been hitting a rock. <laughs> oh, for the thing. Yeah. Yeah. The tambourine girl. You know, and now that's something that does take a lot of skill. Okay, Headley, and you, you know, make fun of the tambourine girl. You know, the tambourine is not an easy, you know, in, in an easy in instrument, you know, to manage. Because, you know, Easy Street with Jen, she had to take extensive lessons to learn how to, you know, hit the cowbell and the triangle. You can ask her. Oh, yeah, she, she went through quite a training uh, rig uh, rigmarole. Through the grueling process of learning it. Yeah. You know, because the triangle has to be hit at, exa at exactly the, you know, precise angle. That's right. With the right timing involved. Yes. So, last... And if you're... Last, if you're and sometimes if you're a, a seasoned player, like a real pro triangle player, you might want to slightly sing along with it. So you hit the triangle and you hum the notes at the same time. Hello, hello, coach. And it's nice to see that, Hi, coach. that we've been visited by... by nice to see the, you, pal. By the... Head of Boyd Wrestling Coachism. And, oh, and I don't know where you guys live in Texas. You didn't get like the total eclipse, did you? Because you guys live in like Houston. Yeah, area. he did actually. Coach would have had it because I think he's oh, outside of okay. Dallas. And Dallas was in the Twa. It was oh, in the past. Yeah, Dallas mm -hmm. and Austin were both in it. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I was looking at it this morning. I mean, yeah, oh, okay, yeah, because Mark said that he was in, you know, like the total, and, you know, for like six, seven minutes, oh, there was like looting and rioting and yeah. buildings on fire and... Car accidents everywhere. And then people spontaneously combust. Oh, hello, Hi, Sharon, how are you doing? You know, you're always welcome here, my friend. Hi, Sharon. Thank you, right. Jim. Oh, Helly, and you can't beat a band with a cowbell. Because because remember that, you know, you know, Christopher Walken says there's, there's only one thing I need. And I get the need for more cowbell. That's it. Uh, all right, guys, we are officially over the minute, over the minute, over the over hour the mark, minute. over the hour mark on a completely pointless and randomless show, which sometimes ends up being some of the funniest things because when you try to script something, the script never works out like you planned it anyway. That's for sure. With the stream, I don't have the cowbell. 
Oh, Easy Street has the cowbell. I've got a tambourine. <clears throat> oh, you want me to get a tambourine? Mark, okay, it will take me, oh, like two minutes to go get my tambourine. So just All right. entertain the crowd. All right. Okay, who did that? Somebody obviously uh, got some motion, got something in motion here suggesting the bimbo gets a tambourine. Now we're going to be listening to tambourine tapping. And that was someone's fault. I'm going to have to look back and look. Oh, it was whoever suggested the cowbell, which would be Headley. So thank you for that, Headley. Oh, no, in coachisms. What this stream needs is more cowbell. Somebody had to say it. But here comes Bimbo now. With no, what this tambourine. show needs is actually a tambourine. That's a nice one, too. I can't seem to get you out of my mind. Was that I some Sam and Dave? I don't know. I, so I, happy together. No, that's the turtles, actually. Yeah. I assume, yeah. Oh, but I don't know the words to the song. But I yeah, don't either. So happy together. Me and you and you for me. No matter how they toss the dice. It has to be the only one for me is you and you for me. So happy, so happy together. together. How is the weather? See, you also get live entertainment on the Bimbo Bar Barbarella music program. I can't seem to... Drink, wash your scent off my breath. I can't seem to like nobody like you. I forget the words of this song. <laughs> live, live entertainment, ladies and gentlemen. At its finest. And We're I here all also, week, folks. And I can also get my little drum set, too, and play that. Hold on, wait, there's more. Uh oh, now look what you've all done. <laughs> There's more where that came from, folks. <laughs> you need a monkey to play that one. <laughs> oh, well, what'd you say, monkey? Oh, and I saw her face. Now I'm a believer. I couldn't leave her if I tried. <laughs> cool. Now you, you can see we use quality gear here at the uh, College for Knowledge. Uh, I could not have asked for that. No. Uh, hysterical. <laughs> Disintegrates right under your, right under your beat. Uh, okay, guys. Well, uh, I do have to get going. I got nothing else to do, but I can't waste my time here. I want to thank everybody. I want to thank Propka for coming up and participating and, as always, being the center of attention. I want to thank, thank every single person who watched our silliness in chat. Hope you had a good time. Hope you had some laughs because that's what we aim to do here. Um, you know, because as I said a hundred times and I'll say it every single time, I enjoy doing this. I enjoy being funny, making people laugh. And there's too much shit in the world to go worrying about problems. Just try and laugh and have a good time. Because do you know that you use 
more muscles frowning than you do smiling. So if somebody pisses you off or lets you, or lets you down, don't get mad at them. Don't frown. Laugh at them and make fun of them. That's a lot more easier, and it uses less muscles. Or else you can throw a brick at them. Or throw a brick. <laughs> so, oh, well, thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Sharon. The portal has been reopened. Oh, just like Keith Moon, yeah. Oh, what's that, Keith? I don't know Baba O'Reilly. Um, I'm not talking about my generation. I don't know how you could drum like he did, like this. Well, that's because he was always drunk. So. Yep. He was. And poor Keith. And poor Keith Moon. I mean. You know, but, but I've, heard stories, I've heard stories about how he would be sometimes be so drunk that he actually had no idea what songs he was playing. Yeah, I don't know. One time that happened to him. He took some monkey tranquilizer and uh, went on stage and passed out right away. And... They couldn't play, so they brought somebody up from the audience to drum yes, for them. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. At the Cal Palace. And, oh, oh, and, like, wasn't that person who came up, just some random person from the audience, when yeah. he turned out to be really good? He was pretty good. He didn't know the songs, though, so it wasn't, you know, it wasn't a replacement very good. But he, at least they, the show went on. And then they brought Keith back again. He cried. He played a little bit. He went faster. He went slower. Finally, he passed out again right on his drum kit. They carried him off again, and they called it a show. <laughs> and even back then, you know, you know, um, I guess for the time, tickets probably weren't that cheap. You want to say, man, I just think we got gypped. Yeah, that's right. Egypt on that show. <laughs> we want our nine ninety nine back. Oh, uh, I and everybody remembers when going to a concert was like was like ten twelve dollars. Yeah, that's how much it was when I first started going. And then sometimes there'd be like three or four bands playing. Yeah, and they play for three hours at a time. Not bands. That, oh, that are there. Ninety-two minutes. Okay, we're done. Yeah, I know. It's different now. And so your band, Mark, um, you guys um, have a set list, I'm sure, but you don't really like do like a set time, do you? Yeah, you know, like how, three like, sets and encores. It's about 50 songs, and it takes about two and a half to three hours to do. Yeah, so, yeah, five bucks, yeah, sadly. Oh, how many monkey tranquilizers oh, have I taken? Um, me? Uh, today, none. Um, because I actually had them in my luggage, and... You know what happens with me and luggage. Mm. The robots stole my luggage, so they stole my monkey tranquilizers. Bummer. I hate robots. I really do. Okay, well, again, thanks everybody for coming up. Thank you, Mark. Thank you for everybody watching. You, Hope you had a little bit of fun on a... Monday afternoon. I think I said it was Wednesday earlier. I don't know. I don't know what day it is. I got to... Oh, look what I got to work with. Al, I don't even... Oh, half the time, I don't even know uh, whether I'm in any clips or not. Hmm. And Rita remembers $7 tickets. Oh, Headley says, Eddie Money and Farner for $5. That'd be a hell of a show now. Well, except, you know, Eddie... 
Yeah, but, yeah, well, Eddie could come back. He could make a comeback. Isn't he dead, Eddie Money? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but he could still make a comeback. Yeah. Yeah, he could come back with somebody like the, uh, um, he could bring a few back. Keith Moon, uh, one of the uh, Temptations, uh, the, the Dead yeah, Temptations. Um, yeah. Um, um, well, he would need a keyboardist, so he would have to get a whole, like, pig pen from the Grateful Dead. He yeah. He would need a keyboardist, yeah. Um, okay, now this is morbid. Good night. Okay, Honor says kiss <laughs> eight bucks and seventy four. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Mark. All right, guys. We'll okay. talk to you later. Bye. Bye, everybody. <clears throat>